Welcome to Tuesday with Todd. I'm Todd Strange, Mayor of the great city of Montgomery, Alabama. Hope you saw uh, Saturday evening about 4.30 the Raycom Camellia Bowl right from Montgomery, Alabama. 31-28, uh, Appalachia State uh, edged out Toledo. We had thousands of people in Montgomery uh, to enjoy the weekend. Uh, it'll have a great economic benefit uh, for us, but in addition to that, uh, we made a lot of new friends because it went to millions uh, all around the world. Speaking of putting our best foot forward, this morning we had a, a tour around uh, to celebrate our existing industries. We had about 43 new and existing companies uh, expand into Montgomery with 1,940 new jobs. Seven of those were brand new companies that brought in some 420. The balance of those, like 1,500 plus, uh, came from existing industry. It's really good when the existing industry who know you and have confidence in you decide to expand because that means that their existing employees are going to stay there as well. Because it's part of a bigger picture. We generally talk about manufacturing here, although in, uh, in the case of Jackson and, and Baptist uh, and Alpha, we, we're not really talking about manufacturing. We're talking about higher tech, we're talking about medical, we're talking about uh, insurance. But, but let me give you the rest of the story. The numbers have just come out uh, from the Department of Labor. We have 3,019 more people in the labor force today than we did this time last year. With $411 million of capital expenditure on these projects and many others, Montgomery has positioned itself for economic uh, growth for the next year or so. So it's important, even the business community, because when these jobs come, that means you're making money also. They spend their money with you. The money ain't, it ain't blue, that means it ain't Democratic. And it ain't red, that means it ain't Republican. It's green. Uh, when you got these expanding jobs, like these are coming up before us, it's important. When you got about 400 some million dollars of capital investment, that's, that's huge for Montgomery, Alabama. Yes, I did tell the people back in 1955 when they talked about the bus boycott, that was their Montgomery. But now this is our Montgomery.